we have massive news. Hi guys, so this is a quick catch up video to let you know where we are currently on our travels and also our thoughts on Singapore and we're going to rate our Singapore trip at 10. So as you'll see from our vlog, Singapore was insane. We absolutely loved it, but we were taken by surprise from the moment we arrived. That shouldn't turn to speed. Say what? Anything you thought. Yeah, Singapore was amazing. I can't believe we haven't been there before, other than stopovers. It's definitely worth spending some time there. And we still feel like we've only just scratched the surface of it as well. So, we thought Singapore was going to be super expensive. Um, and not affordable for someone on a budget or a couple on a budget um, but if you're travelling and you're thinking the same as what we were you need to completely scratch that idea because it was so cheap compared to what we thought it was going to be so like our meals were probably £4 max yeah. activities again we thought they were going to be super super expensive but actually they weren't, they weren't that expensive at all and worth every penny the best thing we did was the free one, which we watched that show. And yeah. obviously the sunset as well was good. Yeah, so obviously there is still free things that you can do in Singapore. Um, but we recommend experiencing as much as you can. We were only there for like four days and we crammed in so much because we just couldn't believe from the first day how amazing that place was. The only downside to it though was how expensive the rooms were. So we were paying, I think it was £16 a night for a dorm room. £18. Pounds. £18 a night for everyone to come in there. To... <laughs> a few moments later. <laughs> Jordan will put a clip now as to why I said that. You don't watch our vlogs, if you do watch our vlogs, you'll know exactly why I said that. Anyway, what was you saying? Oh, so he was saying that the, about the hotel. Yeah, so it was £18 a night for two beds in a dorm room of uh, six. So that's expensive for Asian prices. I think it was eight actually. Yeah, it was eight. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and that's expensive because you know, what we're paying in Indonesia, like in Bali, we're paying six pound a night for our own private room, aircon, toiletries, bottles of water, pool. swimming pool, whereas that was just a shared room. So that was the only expensive side to it. Yeah, you do have to budget for the home hotel. We thought we were getting cheap, but obviously it's like triple. But to be fair, it actually was a good experience in the hospital because we obviously with us being two of us no nine times ten cheaper to have a private room than it is to have two beds in the hospital so we've not actually done it so that was our first hospital experience and it was lovely like clean i was really shocked yeah. i thought it was going to be like loud people would be like snoring yeah. i just didn't think it would be clean yeah. when you think of hospital you just think of all the bad things but actually it was really nice and we're currently in a hostel now. So we will be doing a video on um, like top 10 things to do in Singapore on a budget or I don't know like how much is Singapore to explore, something like that. But just bear in mind we haven't seen everything that we want to see. We will definitely be going back at some point to explore the rest of Singapore because we feel like we're missing out. We're now going to rate Singapore out of 10. Ready? We'll both say it on after one. Three, can we match? Two, one, nine. nine. <laughs> we rate Singapore a nine out of ten. I think it could definitely be a ten out of ten when we've experienced the whole of Singapore because we've missed out on those. The last point that you saw us, we just arrived in Penang and we had the uh, mess with the hotel. I'll put the video in now, the clip. Wow. The room's absolutely disgusting. Let me show you just like a few reasons why it's so disgusting. This is the table. That's the dirty air con. The bed had ants in it, hairs on the pillows, a pin in it. There's all the walls. There's all the stains on the carpet. 
We did record in Penang. We have got all the footage, the vlogs. We just weren't able to post one there because the internet was the worst we've ever had. Like the one video that I did manage to upload took like 16 to 18 hours to upload. It was ridiculous. Um, yeah, so the internet was ridiculously bad, and that's one thing we found out quickly about Penang. Like in every hotel, every hotel was like it was really bad. But you definitely need to keep watching to see if our Penang experience got worse or if it got better. Those vlogs will be coming after this one, so make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on the bell for notifications so that you can see when our vlog go live. We're talking about Penang as if we're not there anymore. That's because we're not. We've moved on to Kuala Lumpur. But like I said, you will be seeing all of that footage. And all this view behind. And oh yeah, this is the, the start. Oh my god, I'm so excited to explore Kuala Lumpur. Ugh. We only got here today basically and yeah, wow. But anyway, about that. So we have some Big news that we were going to say before when it gets us saying because of how horrible the hotel was. <laughs> um, that was. No, you need to keep it. Oh, what was it? So, so we have massive news. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely massive. We have added on another destination to our travels. So we. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so, yeah, like we said, we are we have added on another destination to our travel, and that destination is. Drum roll, please. Oh, I love it. Say it at the same time. Right. Three, two, one. Vietnam. Vietnam. Yay! We wanted to go there for so so long. Uh, we wanted to do it last time actually when we were in Bali and Thailand but we never got the chance. We're just trying to work out whether to do a two week visa or a month visa because you have to pay for the month visa but you can do two weeks without having to pay. Yeah so if any of you guys know definitely drop a comment below and let us know whether it's worth visiting for two weeks if we can get everything into two weeks or if we should pay the extra to stay for the whole month but if Vietnam's worth the whole month and might have to cut out the other places we don't know. But just drop a comment below and let us know. We'll really appreciate it because we're currently stuck. So we're Jordan Mary. Thank you for coming on to our channel and watching our video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for all of our notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up. Put your thumbs up. We will be uploading every day at 6 p.m. So make sure you tune in for all our other vlogs. Thanks for watching.